guys, Jack here. Welcome back to the farm. We got another cold day here, so we're going to continue where we left off in the last video, uh, cutting down the trees over there. And we're hopefully going to get most of what I cut down out of here up to the top of the backyard there so I can get it cut up and chopped and split for firewood. So obviously we're going to use the coyote. I got the forks on it now. We're just going to cut these down to size, um, eight, 10 foot lengths, whatever it may be. Get them hauled out of here. One's in the back, probably hook the chain up, haul them out. Uh, we're just going to kind of see how it goes, but uh, let's get going. So I was cutting down some trees at the in-laws um, over the weekend in my MS-462C. The uh, chain sprocket on it stripped, so waiting on a new one of those. But until then, I got my old faithful here, my MS-290 uh, little farm boss. This is a great workhorse. I've had it for probably 10 years or so. That's what we're using today. Get it up top. So if we can't grab both of these here. slow and easy out of here.
right there. About a pretty good size log too. All right, let's go ahead and grab them.
this. Let's be a little smarter here. Hard to uh, see how far down the front of the forks are. One more log here.
our next one is the tree leaning that way. Um, it's got a lot of vines on it, so we'll see if we can uh, pull it out or not. Might have to cut it up. added bonus with this tree, all the vines got stripped off. So that's nice. day here and uh, we're going to continue with our little project of clearing up this side and we're going to keep uh, yanking trees out cutting them up getting them up top and ready to split so let's get going so pretty much the same drill we're going to uh, 
chain it up and pull it out. is very dead so this will be uh, one to split first for some instant firewood Got an extra chain to get this one out. And there's all sorts of cover and vines. Try and get them over uh, a knot so then the chain doesn't slip and So, I'm gonna get my slip knot off of the other log here so I don't have to worry about that. Should be good to go after I hook it up to my tractor. This should free up. Uh, my tow rope too so I can get that in. I'm supposed to get a foot of snow this weekend so we'll see if that actually happens uh, but I don't want that getting buried for who knows how long.
might be too uh, rotten to pull out. But we'll give it another go here. was the log that had my tow line, so that's good. and repeating back here doing the same thing over and over and over so not the most thrilling thing but I think the fun starts when we get it all cleaned out and cleaned up and uh, start growing everything just a lot of work to get there but we'll get there tractor time this guy first because he uh, weighs more, gets it in the back of the uh, fork for a uh, better weight distribution. It's kind of turned into a muddy mess out here. It's warmed up a little bit today. Um, but here's kind of where we are. Big mess of stuff there in the middle. Got a few more logs here, a few more trees. Uh, but right now, I just kind of cleared this out a little bit back here. I got one back here I cut down a year ago, uh, right there. So nice little log there. Um, that'll kind of help get that cleared out. Also a good one for cutting up firewood and that'll kind of help me get back here to start working on this cleaning this up uh, the fence is right there so we're gonna clean up to that uh, for now just trying to get as much done over here right now um, grounds a little frozen over in the vineyard so can't really pull anything out so Switching to uh, what we can work on. Might need to adjust this one once or twice. Chain's a little long for uh, the area I got to maneuver it, but we'll see.
that'll do it for this one. Obviously got a long ways to go back there, but pretty good start with the logs. So if I get to it before it snows, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get them cut, split, stacked in the wood yard and uh, dry in for next year. So as usual guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, follow along on our journey here on the farm. Thanks for coming back if you are a subscriber and we'll see you next time on the farm.